Remember your roots, stars are born, born and cybernetic uplink too. Welcome back guys to another video. Today, um, I'm back on my Smurf again. Yeah, that's right. I have an Annie and then a Lulu and then some bruiser units. I'm hoping to get some cool gameplay here. I'm gonna reroll these too big to fail. I can play bruisers with this, which is really nice. Don't think anyone else is looking to play that. So I would also be interested in taking Stars Are Born just because, but I'm just gonna take too big to fail here. And bear with me. What we're gonna do is you're not gonna play Olaf like you might be used to. Uh, rather, we're just gonna play Gragas. That's right, we're gonna be playing Gragas reroll. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I should have leveled, but this is fine for now. So, what does Gragas do? I don't know, man. I have not played this comp yet, but with too big to fail, it, this might be actually pretty decent, right? Um, so with Gragas, you need, of course, a six bruiser, and then you would also play a Spellweaver with Lulu and Annie, or you can play um, Ari later on, Seraphine and stuff like that, right? Um, okay, can we win this? I think I can win this. Because I, I get an ult here, right? And we went nice, nice, nice. Um, we're gonna just mark all the bruisers, as one does, and um, and go from there. I'm gonna level here, and I'm gonna play three spe spell weaver already. Now we want a Gragas headliner, but you know we can make do without a Gragas headliner until. Until then, until we find one, or, or until we get to a point where we can find one. And so, Gragas, he heals uh, over two seconds. The heal does not scale from anything, and then he deals damage. And then the damage, that scales off of AP. So, what we want to do... Um, and then, oh, so, yeah, so... He heals for two seconds, and then deals damage to all the adjacent enemies, and it also chills all the enemies that, that were hit. Um, we want the spell weaver because every time a spell weaver casts, all the spell weavers gain AP. So um, you know he's stacking AP this way. Um, and then what we what else we want is um, maybe gargoyles and some other stuff. He will, he's, he will have a lot of HP. He will have a lot of HP. He will have a lot of resistances, and then he will have a lot of AP as well. So um, we will solo frontline him with six bruiser, gargoyles, and other stuff like that. And ideally, you know, the enemies will congregate around him. He ults once and then, bam, explodes everything. <laughs> I don't know if it will work out the way I imagine this would work out. But if it does, I'll be very happy. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to just play the Gragusi reroll with too big to fail. Right? So on top of that, when he dies, he'll just deal 35% of his maximum health to all the enemies that are congregating around him. I think this, this could be fun. I, I don't beat this guy. This guy is very, very strong. Uh, he's also playing what seems like Spell Beaver here. Okay. Not even a single unit killed. That's okay, though. It's fine. It's fine. So this is, again, my Smurf. I think it's in silver at the moment or something like that, right? Like we play here because it's kind of fun to play here. That's all there is to it. Um, we will also itemize backline units. So I definitely want uh, Gargoyles on the Gragas, and maybe Ionic Spark and Archangel or something funky like that. Sounds decent to me, honestly. Ionic Spark is definitely an item that I I want to take here. Um, so we'll, we'll do that. I'm pretty sure that I should slam a Nasher's Tooth. And, you know, ideally that will be on... Ari at the end of that because Ari has 30 mana she will just spam ultimates all the time which will stack AP on Gragas that's what we want to get to I can level here I will level here I'll play a second Gragas I think it's decent enough uh, for now let's just put this on the Annie right and I will itemize this later on that is decently fine. That's absolutely okay for us. Um, depending on what the items we get, this can get really wonky and really fun. Uh, generally speaking, when you get too big to fail, you just play Olaf reroll. Um, six bruiser Olaf reroll. But I I'm just going to go six, six Gragas reroll. <laughs> or, sorry, six bruiser Gragas reroll, right? I think it's going to be fun.
of course we want the bruiser gragas which is the only problem because you know the chances of hitting that are pretty slim pretty slim you don't want the spell weaver because you want two spell weaver backliners so they can feed ap into the gragas and you don't want disco because disco is just completely useless in this setup Hopefully we get the Gragas very early. I mean, I'm just going to Econ now until 3-5, pretty much. That's all I'm going to do. And I think, yeah, what we do is just Lulu and Ari in the back. I, I kind of like that idea. You can also go 5 Spellweaver, maybe, if you hit Spellweaver Gragas. But I think 6 Bruiser is just too important, especially when you have too big to fail. It would be a bit of a troll not to play that, right? Nice. Nice. Okay. I don't think we win this. Actually, maybe. Because Annie can clutch this, right? Against the Jinx here. Nice. Okay, good job. Good job. Very good job. He has Frequent Flyer, Punk Reroll. It's okay. It's decent. Okay. Another Lulu. Alright, not gonna say no to that. So we go 6 on 3-5 and then start rolling for the Gragas there. And then Lulu too, of course. Maybe we hit a lucky Ori. Um, and then we can probably have 5 or 4 Bruiser there. Maybe six bruiser if you are lucky. Right. I'm also going to play a Nico reroll comp at some point. I have an idea for that, which sounds really nice. Okay, we, we can just TG the Lulu. I think that's okay. Uh, this becomes uh, Gunblade, of course. Oh, very good items. Very, very good items there. I'm not even doing anything here yet. I'm perfectly fine here. Just gonna have to scout to see if there's anyone with Disco, but no Disco. So no Gragases are really out of the pool, except for this guy for some reason. He's holding two scrapping mentions. Why is he holding Gragas? Oh, for Spellweaver. He wants Spellweaver, I think. That could be problematic a little bit, but we'll see. I mean, Gragas is usually... Usually no one goes for Gragas 3, right? So, But this is low elo, so anything can happen, to be fair. And explosion damage. And explode. Nice. So much so much explosion there. Okay, we can we can beat this. No, we cannot. We got one tap by the Eve. Unlucky, but it's okay. Um I would like a econ augment here, maybe. Frequent flyer is not bad. Or balanced budget budget for that matter is decent as well. Um because I'm not going to be rolling that much after, right? So, just take this. Because I'm rolling here anyway, so I will get 21 gold by then. Um, and then 28 here, but yeah, we'll just, we'll just, yeah, it's fine. I mean, I could have gone for the Frequent Flyer and then maybe a three-star Olaf as well. Mm, I can see it. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, I don't have the indicator for who I'm fighting next. Not stupid. Ah, tank Lulu. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> I'm not itemizing Bragas until I find the headliner. The headliner Gragas' effect is that he gets um, damage reduction while he's casting his spell. So it's pretty good as well, with Bruiser especially, right? I got just one tapped here by this guy. It's okay though. 73 HP, we're fine. Okay, how is this guy doing? Has one Lulu, two Gragas, he's still zero gold. I'm not super afraid. And he has Rich Get Richer, but has, has zero gold. Interesting choice, friend. Just went level seven and rolled all his gold. Okay, yes, the game wants us to win. The game wants us to win. 
Um, I'm down to sell one level here. Just play one more bruiser. There you go. Or even this girl, I guess. This is fine because it just gives more AP to the Gragas, right? At the end of the day. Because we get more casts. If we get more casts, we get more attack speed. We get more mana. And hyper pop. Right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this guy has... Oh, this is the guy that I was checking out anyway, right? I want Gragas items next, though. I need two cloaks. I need um, a chain vest and then something else for the third item. We'll see what, what that will be. I'll figure it out. Okay, this guy got a very lucky glove on that Lulu, to be fair. But hey, when he's level 7, I have nothing yet, right? He has zero gold. I have a lot of gold. So we will start rolling here. There's an Ori with a chain. Okay, I'm taking that. What? I'm taking that. I need that. Very good. Sell the Annie, play the Ori. GG. We also want to play four Bruiser here from this spot now. If you can find a set, we have it marked or you know, any one of these technically will be fine. Or yeah, also getting Gragas, I guess, is kind of important um, as a bruiser, right? But for now, we're doing this. I want to roll a little bit deep here. Not super deep. This is Disco. I can't take this. Okay. All right, I'm not rolling any more any more than this because I'm already um, a little bit too deep here. Four one is the next interval where we will probably roll. Again, like finding the disco gragas, there is a little bit bad, right? I, there's a cat here on my desk. Okay, I don't think I win this. Close fight, good loss, keeps the streak going. I'm okay with this. I also just need to find the Bruiser Gragas headliner and then hit one more Gragas and we're golden. Okay, we get some gold, this is nice. Again, we're just only, only gonna roll on 4-1. Not gonna roll here. We have six Lulus by the way, that's kinda crazy. Where's the Spellweaver guy, this guy? Yeah, he has nothing, pretty much. Okay, I think Gargos is actually the most important item, and then Ionic Spark is the next, and then whatever, right? Blue buff on Ari will be also very important. How much AP? 145. It's not bad by any means. Spellweaver gives him 15 plus 20, so that's 35. Yeah, he got like 10 AP right in that fight. It's not that much, but it's it's decent. More gold. One, two, three, four. Like that's all the gold we get, right? Oh yeah, because we, you don't get the gold here. So by by this point, we only got 14, 21 here, 28 here. Okay. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I got it, guys. Do we just double gargoyle it up or something? I don't need the Annie anymore. Okay, that's a Gragas. Okay, Lulu. Just infinite Lulus. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna roll further because I think we're fine here, probably. Um, I'm gonna roll soon. We wait for the augment here. 
We can also just not play the Gragas headliner, but I think we need him to be fair because the, the headliner effect on him is actually quite important for this to work. But any bruiser headliner would be fine at this stage. I mean, the only ones I can get are Set and Gragas, right? So Nice. And we should be winning here, by the way, because we have a three-star Lulu, but we're still losing. We don't have items slammed on our front line, so that's not, not great. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you definitely just... Oh, raise a tempo is not bad, huh? You definitely don't want to play this comp in... Uh, in your like ranked games and stuff, right? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna sell this Gragas because I need the headliner. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Guys, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, give him that. So he becomes a giga tank. I could, do I Titans him, man? Titans, is that a good item on him? I don't think it is, but I'll have to, right? I'll have to, I need to. Okay, so Titans, Gargoyles, and then he will get an Ionic Spark. I can level here for 6 Bruiser, which I should, because I am 48 HP. And now we're cooking. <laughs> now we're cooking, boys. Um, we have raised uh, Tempo as well, so he gets a lot of extra healing. Okay, so his headliner effect, right, is that he takes 10% less, less damage and deals 18% more damage. That's it. It's it's a very good uh, headliner effect here because, I mean, he's going to be solo frontlined. 4k damage. It's not a lot of damage, let's be real. Also, maybe we want a healing item on him, but I will have Gunblade on this Ari. And so she will be healing the Gragas quite a bit. We just need blue buff and Gunblade. Just need that, as if that was so simple, right? We could technically also go Dragon Claw or something on him, or a Redemption. That's not even bad. But I kind of want to go full damage. Kind of want to go full damage, Gragusi. Okay, we need to be level 8 and hit RE2. Not gonna work without. Uh, look at this. Like, he's not really taking that much damage here. <laughs> Let's be real. One more ult. Uh, okay. One more ult. Nice. Hmm, not too bad. Not too bad. Imagine if he had healing, right? How much damage did he deal? 4k? Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know about this one, guys. I mean it is fun, but it's um Definitely not the best thing you can build here. Kind of want that. Not going to get it. Um, taking a tier because I want... Like, blue buff on Ari is actually more important than anything, I think. And in all honesty, any tank item on this guy is just going to be fine. Ionic Spark, of course, is the best, but blue buff is needed. And there's a decent chance we get a tier on chickens. So That's what we'll do. I don't think I go set three ever here. It's not really important. The only problem with frontlining Gragas like this is like he's guaranteed to die first. I mean, it's not even bad. That's fine. Because he's too big to fail then triggers for sure and kills units. That's okay. Yeah, yeah never mind. Forget that I said anything. I think this guy doesn't beat me. I think this guy might beat me. This is actually pretty strong. I'm fighting him. Yeah, he has a Z2 as well, which is really scary here. And Katarina can just burst me real hard. One more ult. And he taps. He just one taps everything. Look. Look at the Gragas, guys. Okay, I, I lose this. Yeah, as I said, I would. It's, um, I mean, once I have RE2 with blue buff, I can win this, but not, not just yet. His AP scaling is pretty good, but it feels like his damage is just lacking, no? 
I should beat these. You go level eight on what five two and then roll for an re two. I want re. I mean, we also have a, a Lulu three, by the way, which is really crazy. She's not really do, doing anything. Although I mean, yeah, she has a TG, so it's not like she's giga strong here. Okay, re is dead. But uh, I don't think I can lose to a KL2, right? Realistically. I have a Gragas 3 and a Lulu 3. I mean, it's very close, to be fair. All right. <laughs> and at level 9, we can go 5 Spellweaver. Maybe, or we can go three Disco, and then that gives a bit of healing to this guy. But like, what the problem with Disco is like, what do you play, right? There's no no, no good units to play here. Mm. And with five spell weaver, you can just play Sona and Echo, and they are actually pretty decent. Uh, that's a very bad item. That is actually a terrible item. Why did I have a Kali here? I wanted Ari. Okay, blue buff. Okay, if I if it's a blue buff, then I have a what? Can I just Shojin? I mean, Shojin is not that good, but at least that gives me a third item on Gragas, right? Sure. I would rather do this. Then we can still look for a. Um, Gunblade on Ari. Next level. Or next uh, turn we level. I gave him the Protector's Vow because I like I think it's good. He gets the max health shield from it, right? Which is very good with a bruiser. Plus gets the AP so or the mana so he can ult faster. I think it's it's decent enough. Nice. Okay, we beat this guy. Uh, I'm gonna take out these from the planner now. I don't need them ever. Um, what can I put in that's actually good right now? Not much, right? Just another spell weaver for more casts. I mean, I would put in an Annie more so than anything, honestly, at this point. I mean, I can pick this up. Oh, there's a Bilawi, Jesus. Okay. Nice. Gragas is doing well here. <laughs> I mean, he's, you know, standing his ground. So I appreciate that. I didn't hit a single Ari, which is really bad. 5.2k damage, not even bad, right? Okay, what do I play here, man? I think we do this for sure. Um, sell this guy. There's a KDA spell weaver. Sell these. I'm playing this. Okay. I'm gonna roll to 10 only. I'm still relatively healthy here and doing well, I guess. That's fine. Finding this Ilawi was a little bit crazy, to be honest. I don't know if I can get Ilawi 2 here on level 8, but if I can, that's perfect. Okay, I, I need to Okay, I, I, I need to fix this. This is bad. I should not let this happen. Okay, can I win? I don't think I can. I have Guardian Angel on Lulu, but it's. I don't think it's going to be enough. Not quite. Right, I, I messed up, man. That was just my bad. I need the tentacles to be in the corners. There's an Ilawi. Gumblade. Gumblade is more important than Ilawi too at this point. I'm gonna say, and he's taking Ilawi anyway. Okay, Gumblade is perfect though. Okay, I, I move the tentacles into the corners. Like this is just stupid. 
I should not have lost that previous fight at all. But I'm gonna roll, like, I mean, once we hit RE2, um, we're, we're decently strong. There's also this guy, and I think it's better than Spell Lever here, right? Has to be. Okay. I'm rolling to zero now, nice. Good job, okay. Uh, again, you want blue buff, not Shojin, but heck, you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, we want heal reduction on one of these units. Now we have magic pen with Ziggs, so getting a Shojin onto Ziggs would be very nice, so he can cast faster. I think we win this now, we should. If, if he can get one ult off, then it's probably enough. He can, yeah. Because now we actually deal damage. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Heal reduction. Oh, come on. I don't have heal reduction against him, so it's not enough, actually. I. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Okay. So we need Sunfire or something. Mor Morello on Ziggs, I guess, is also fine. I think top three is pretty much guaranteed at this point. I cannot see the indicators on like who I'm fighting, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, this guy only has Samira 2, but has Vax 3, which is scary, actually. Okay, I definitely beat this guy, though. Okay, this has nothing. Okay. Two star, two star. Look at the Gragas. That's not bad, man. That's damage, right? Damn. And he's getting healed by the Ari. All right. So this is a top four already for sure. For sure. Next level, what do I play? Just Yorick? I, I mean, I'm not. I can't go next level. What am I talking about? I would love to, but I. it's very unlikely. It's very unlikely. But there is not much I can roll for other than a Zac 3 or Zac 2. Zac 2 is fine. Okay, I really, really need heal reduction right now. Um, not getting heal reduction here would be very bad. Nice. Oh, is it Morello or is it Sunfire? I think it's Morello on Ziggs, right? Has to be. Okay, maybe we can go 9 on 6-5. I won't have any gold, but I can place something probably. Okay, I'm fighting this guy now. It's the Akali guy again, but now we have everything set up correctly, I think. So that should be fine. I, I think we should beat this guy. I mean, he has a very strong Kale. Don't think it's gonna be enough though against me. Now we itemize Ziggs, get him to cast as fast as possible, um, so that he can apply the Morello and the uh, the Magic Pen Shred, or like the Magic Shred, right? Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, team. Again, I would not. I have to emphasize that. I would not recommend playing this comp in uh, high low. Like, this is silver, so it's fine. <laughs> but, like, you can see that it's not very good, right? Like, I mean, not like this, at least. Like, uh, too big to fail with Olaf reroll, very good. Um, too big to fail with Gragas reroll, nah. Probably not the thing that you're looking for. I should also just be on this side uh, with my guys. And um, and just beat beat up the Zed and stuff, right? Can I do that even? Maybe I can't. Oh, okay, that's not it. That is that is definitely not it, man. <laughs> that was so bad. The Zed just walked up onto my Ori and killed me. Yeah, that was that was stupid. Um, I, I I just need to not position like that, like an idiot. I still live here. It's okay, we can fix this. 
I promise I can I can fix this. Okay. I'm fighting this guy now again. This is fine. We beat this. We always beat this. Against this thing, we'll just have to have a front line instead of trying to um, single front line the Gragas. Okay, this guy found Cartus 2, which is a little scary, but it's okay. I don't think he can beat us even with Cartus 2. Like, he doesn't have a Kali. No items on Viego. Probably, probably okay here. Are we okay here? Maybe we are not. Okay. I'm actually dead. Oh, okay. I thought that I had that. Um, I mean, it's a third place, so I'm gonna upload this as a video because I think it's fun to play Gragas, but I would definitely just not recommend playing him. You see, he's not very good. Um, uh, but hey, I mean, it was fun for sure. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment for the algorithm and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.